year ago. Hello, welcome back to the channel. And this video is going on the Bramall Backroom Brewery channel and the Bramall Does channel. So it's like a crossover video, this. So it's going to be on both channels. So yeah, only because it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a fun one, this. Um, I was in Booths, my local Booths, and I seen some crisp and I thought, oh, that'd be a laugh. And then I noticed there was a beer that went with these crisps. I thought, I've got to have a laugh. I'm not going to do a serious review. I don't do when it's like these type of things, not, not serious as such. Um, but if anyone remembers the 1980s show, which ran from like 1981 for 14 years, and I think it came back in 2006 for a short period of time. Um, the host was Jim Bowen originally, and then Dave Spikey did it. It was a program created by Andrew Wood. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute on there as well. Um, and it was called Bullseye. So what I've got here, I have got some Bully, not Bullseye, at, well, bullysnacks.co.uk. Uh, it's Bully Snacking on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I've got some Bully Salt and Vinegar Crisp. I've got some Bully Sea Salt Crisps. I've got some Bully Steak and Ale Crisps. And we've got Bully Cheese and Onion Crisp. And to go with that, so it's like bu bu <laughs> and Bully's special prize is a can of Bully Beer. And this is a well, as it says here, it's a refreshing, complex, and well-rounded, just like Bully, super smashing great. It's great British brewed Pilsner, coming at 4.5%. And I do know this is brewed and canned on behalf of Bully Beer at Glen Affric Brewery. Um, so, yeah, and it's Bully at bullybeer.co.uk. First time I've seen this, and also Facebook, Instagram, you can find them at Bully Beers, and it's www.bullybeer.co.uk. So I thought, I've got to do it. I've got to have, I've got to try these crisps. Mrs. B's there as well, she's going to try them. I'm going to get the, the lager, the Pilsner, in the glass, give that a try as well. I love a bit of Bully, it's fantastic. What was it? So what was the things they used to say? Um, this is what you could have won. I remember that, you know, Jim Bowen used to always say at the end when someone, they always seemed to win either a caravan, um, a mini metro. Uh, <laughs> see, they're the ones that stuck in my head, caravans and mini metros. Tell you what, that's pouring like a nice beer, that. That's nice, crisp looking, clear. Just let me knock that off. Nice white head on there, looks, looks great. Smells like a pilsner as well, malty, really nice and malty. So yeah, I remember like winning them, winning, winning them. You used to have like win a metro or win a, a caravan or win a boat and then they never seemed to win them and it was always at the end going, oh, look what you could have won. And it was a, a boat and like, oh yeah. I mean, if you, if you did win a boat, you know, yeah, have you got somewhere to put it? I don't know, bit of, bit of not, but it used to be, what was the other ones used to say? Like, Super smashing great. Super smashing great, that's what it says on these. Yeah. Uh, stay out of the black and into the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. Yeah, that was so it was all it was a game show based around darts, if you don't know what it is. And it was that you had a, a dart player and you had a non-dart player, and the non-dart player was like the was the one that had to answer the question. So there was like the quiz the what the general knowledge type quizzes, wasn't it? Or they did choose, wasn't it? So you'd have to the dart player would have to throw it into like general knowledge, books history and then if they missed they got asked a different question go and check it out on, on it's probably on youtube it's probably on uk gold or something now but it was in in 90 in the 80s when i used to watch that as a kid um i used to love it it used to be fantastic and like you get little bullets this you know this guy bully you get a little pot and the money in it and the darts in it at the end that's what most people want um and they bring on a professional dart player and they'd have a go and they were at the end of the series it was, it was just all about fun but when i seen these it just took me back back into the 80s when i used to watch it ran, i think it said 14 years so it ran from like 81 to 95 and then came back like 10 years later or something so i'm gonna taste the beer see what that tastes like i mean it's glen Affric, over and i think it's like birkenhead the wirral or liverpool it's one of them i'm not too sure taste it's i'm sorry it smells like a pilsen to me
yeah have a taste of that that's nice so we're gonna get a taste of the the beer because what they're saying is these crisps they're saying bully crisps a perfect partner for a game of darts and a pint of bully beer well i haven't got a dartboard i used to love playing darts in the pubs but i haven't got a dartboard so i'm just gonna have the beer and try the crisp made from great tasting yorkshire grown potatoes and carefully washed sliced and fried on the same farm to make sure you really can't beat a bit of bully they are then lightly flavoured using only natural seasoning and pack fresh for you to enjoy. Super smashing great. Everything about it, super smashing great. I say, got them from Booths. They worked out a pound a packet for the crisp and the beer was uh, two quid. So what have we got here? Two, three, four, five, six pounds for the crisps and the, the beer. And it's a, it's a bit of fun. So which one do I try first? Got to go steak and ale. Let's leave steak and ale to last. That's a bit sea salt. Yeah, I've got to try a bit of sea salt. And it, it sort of matches the can as well, the sea salt packet. So we'll go with a bit of sea salt, see what that's like. Okay, and the ingredients are just potatoes, sunflower, sunflower oil, and sea salt. And it says here as well, um, uh, Bullseye 2023, Andrew J. Wood Enterprises, all rights reserved, because Andrew J. Wood was the guy who created it. Anyway. So what have we got? Oh, we got proper crisps. I'm pleased about that. I was a bit worried, wasn't I? Yeah. Because I couldn't tell when I was dealing with them. It's not them amazing things, are they? But the, the proper, the proper crisps. And there you go. Nice crisp. Oh. And the crunchy. The hard. I love it when crisps are hard like that. You're not a big fan of the hard crisp. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice. Really, actually, quite good, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Uh, nice seasoning as well. You can taste the sea salt on them, which is quite nice. And I can understand why. Sorry. Put these steam. I can understand why that goes with beer, because that salt makes you want to go for a drink. And it does, it works. It works. You know what they're doing. Yeah, I think if you scan these QR codes, I'll put it to the screen for you. I don't know if that works on YouTube, if you can scan it on there, if it's going to focus. But these take you to the Snaffling Pig, is it? Yeah. And I think they also, um, they're like a supplier of the, the crisp. I'm not too sure about the beer, if they supply the beer, but it is, there's a QR code on the beer can as well. So there. But yeah. So... That yeah. worked. Yeah. That worked. Go on then. That's the deal. In one. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. In one. That was number one. That was in one. That did the guy. I can't remember his name. Oh. What was his name? Because he used to always say, Bob, uh, uh, Jim Bowen used to say to him, didn't he? So, salt and vinegar. I love salt and vinegar, Chris. There you go. There's a salt and vinegar one. Mm. Ingredients. Tony Green. He had a distinctive voice as well. So again, it's the potatoes, sunflower oil, salt and vinegar flavouring, um, and vinegar powder, sugar, malt vinegar powder, and rapeseed oil. Again, it's a hard crisp, which is great. Got a crunch, proper crisp. I love them like, like handcuffs. These are nice. Let's try the beer again. <laughs> it just worked, doesn't it? A good packet of crisp. Do you want another one? Try the beer. A good packet of crisp and a drink, a beer, always goes well. And suppose I remember it in a pub. Used to have like crisps, nuts, beer playing darts and it used to be a really good night and uh, yeah cheese onion so here's the the bully cheese and onion let's go in for them grown and hand cooked in Yorkshire hand cooked that's why they're so like really you know, well, crispy like they should be <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean proper hard 
There you go, there's the, the bag. If it, hopefully that's focusing for you. There you go, this is big. Plenty of seasoning on him. You're definitely getting plenty, both that sea salt and that salt and vinegar, plenty of seasoning. It smells like a cheese onion crisp. Oh, that one's nice. That's really good, isn't it? Oh, that one. That is really good. That is really, really, really good. Really intense cheese and the onions there as well. Mm. Really nice, balanced. It's oh, got another one. Really want to try another one now. <laughs> Cheese onion. The lager. Dr. Pilsner. Cheers. I don't mind doing it because it works. It works yeah. with every crisp. Yeah, it just works, doesn't it? And I'm just missing now a dartboard. <laughs> Isn't it? Cheese onion. That worked. Right, that is fantastic. Steak and ale, I've been really looking forward to these ones. Um, ingredients on these, I'm just it's yeast extract, so that's where they must have got the possibly the ale flavouring. Um, caramelised sugar, sunflower, herbs, there's a spice on there with white pepper white pepper, I think it says. Rosemary thyme, natural flavouring. I don't see ale at all. Uh, onion powder, rice, flour, salt. No, so they've got the ale part from flavourings. So yeast extract is going to be the one. I think it was the same when I did. Nova Monk did like a peanut. Um, I can't remember, it was like a stout. Was it a stout or something? And then we had like a, the, we had the things, oh, I can't remember. But it's the yeastiness that's going to bring the beer anyway. Um, doesn't really say anything else about that on there. It's the same same stuff as the other packet I read out. Let's get into it. Can't beat a bit of bully. <laughs> Always strong, strong aroma. Straight away. That's how much you get in a packet. What is the actual? I'll tell you in a minute what the uh, actual weight. Weight of them are. So again, you can see there's plenty of seasoning on these. Which is superb. Yeah, it smells beefy, doesn't it? That's got to be the yeast extract. Oh wow. Mm. Oh. No, oh, biggest man. Alright. What do you think of them? No. What a flavour! Oh, actually, I don't know which one That to me has got a slightly Worcester sauce flavour as well. Mm. There's a hint yeah. of that Worcester sauce yeah. crisp flavour on there. That's 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 a good crisp as well. They really, really are. The 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 really high quality. To be honest with you, um, did they tell you what size bag they were? 40 gram bags, a pound. I can't compare, I don't know, because I don't buy bags of crisp. Is that in line with a bag of walkers? I think it's a little bit more expensive, but I think you're paying... A lot more quality there, Yeah. for me. That, that crisp in each of them packets, full of flavour, nice crunch. I like a tough hand, they call, they call them hand, yeah, hand-cooked crisp. These are grown and hand-cooked in Yorkshire. Just over the hill from us. That is absolutely fantastic. I really like that. Oh no, I haven't got. I didn't have a crisp and then taste. <clears throat> of course it works. It's a crisp. It's beer. It's crisp. It's going to work. Yeah, brilliant. If you can see it in booths. If you get hold of them, definitely worth a try. If you like your crisp and like a lot of flavour on your crisp, and you like your pilsner to be crisp, because that's crisp as well. Nice dried pilsner, a little bit of bitterness there. Works really well with your crisp. Um, 
put my glasses on just read the can and then we can go and enjoy share them with the, the kids as well um, we've taken a classic Pilsner style and given it the bully treatment. A refreshing beer with a bready malt body with layers of zest, zesty lime and pine thanks to our special blend of hops. Refresh, refreshingly complex and well-rounded just like bully. Super smashing. Great. And it's great British brewed. Yeah. It doesn't tell you hops or anything like that but I'm not bothered about that in this video. It's just about, just about a bit of fun. A bit of you know, remembering a good old TV programme back in the 80s or back in 2006 with Dave Spikey so there you go bully beer bully crisp I enjoyed that it's nice isn't it yeah something different the crisp are really good the really good quality the beer is good it, I was worried it wasn't going to be worth it it's definitely worth it and if I seen them again I'd buy a packet of them so you said which is your favourite out of the four cheese and onion so Mrs. B is going cheese and onion. Salt and vinegar. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go salt and vinegar though. Mrs. B is going cheese and onion. So salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Salt and that, That's strong that beer. <laughs> salt and vinegar. Cheese and onion for Mrs. B. But to be honest, all four of them are cracking. Yeah. All four of them are super smashing great. Okay. Mm. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating